Hey guys, what's goody? What's up? What's good? In today's video, I have a whole bunch of makeup that I've never tried before. Some products I did try. I'm going to reuse the Elf Barless Putty. I've got some Wet n Wild that I haven't used. Some Hard Candy. Um, the Revlon Foundation. This Longwear Hard Candy Sheer Spray. I say we dive right in. Anything that's new I'll talk about. If I already used it, then I'll just show you me using it. Get some primer. Love the elf. Should I do a full elf face again? I feel like I want to start with the face. I just washed my face. I feel like. All right, let's just do it. It's been so long. Like, oh my goodness. Let's open this first. All right, using my throwback Thursday, we're gonna use the Bebe brush. Who even knows who Bebe is? Only the 90s kids. All right. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, even though I have a palette. I just do not recall the last time I cleaned my palette, so I'm not, not even gonna try that. Okay. Super liquidy. Let's see. Mm. Doesn't seem to be my shade. That's sad. And this says it's 12 hour wear. Child, excuse me, it's a long time. It's using um, this is a newer product. This is the what is the brand? Um, wow, that's fake. Maybe not do that. That's always definitely kind of I have to use a sponge when you're lazy. Don't want to get out to get a sponge. I have to try to go to the pony. Oh my god, this is like not going well. Then I have extra, so it's gonna be like a pump and a half if you're using like a pump that doesn't come with a pump. It comes with a little spilly situation. Revlon Color Stay Light Cover Foundation in the shade Natural Finish. Oh no, it's a natural finish with sunscreen. Oh, it has sunscreen. Oh. My god, if I get a goddamn pimple, I'm gonna cry. Let's put some concealer. I don't have any new concealers, I don't think. We're just gonna use the AOA liquid concealer in the shade Nude. Oh, that is not liquid. <laughs> that is thick. BH Cosmetics 138 brush. It's like a little taper situation. I can get right under there. I'm gonna just grab a little bit. And we're just gonna get those bags. I'm gonna try to cover some of the areas that are literally just blue. Pressed powder, perfect finishing pressed powder by AOA in the shade Banana. I still have the e.l.f. one. I don't think I should use it though. Like it looks gross. I'm not even so gonna I'm gonna put this in here. The AOA Studio Fix Sculpt Stick. Get some shakes up there. This one is a little bit harder to blend, and without a blending sponge, it's gonna be something else. But let's see if I can do it. Then I'm gonna go right in with the AOA blush that I like. Always use it now. It's literally my favorite. If I'm not wearing makeup, this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> Alright, just gonna put a little bit. It actually blends fine with this brush, so I take back whatever I said. Because last time I used a blending sponge, and it was like I was like pulling at my face. Oh my god, I need a new chair. Um, yeah, it was like, I felt like I was like tugging at my face to get it blended. Like right now, look at even my nose contour is blending super good. Is it super good? No, but it blended super good. <laughs> Why is this side way more like, yes, bitch, and this one's like, mm, I might take a nap later. Like, <laughs> we're not taking a nap later. And the blush with the same brush. Why did I do that? 
Why would I just dip it? Oh my god, I'm gonna pat it off or look how much came up. <laughs> I was gonna put that on my face. Am I nuts? So I'm gonna just put it like I'm gonna dot it around first and then I'll blend it out. So I've been going with like I wouldn't say it's a TikTok trend. I kind of feel like that was already a thing that they started doing it all over TikTok, so whatever. I'll get the TikTok right up. So I'm just gonna blush. Um I've worked with like eyeliner for too long, but it falls into your business. Like, you know, kind of hot. I usually start to put on powder in this area, the cheeky things. Every day, so it still looks. And I feel like I put too much here. Uh, it doesn't look bad. It just looks like I've been in the sun too long and it's under your business. <laughs> oh my god, I just made. Please stand out, y'all. So now I'm gonna go straight in with the lip just because it's new and I want it to match the eyeshadow in some sort of way. Well, let's see what we can do. So this is the Hard Candy Plumping Serum in the... It says Pumping, Plumping Serum Flashers in the shade Celestial. All right, I was looking for the shade. I thought it was Flashers. Okay. Let's see what I don't even usually use hard candy, but I'm here for it. And this is KKW's. What is it? Why did I just say KKW? What the fuck? Who am I? All right, <laughs> this is Kim Kardashian's um, bandeau. I bet none of you guys could guess what size I'm wearing. And you guys have seen like full body me. Like I'm not big. I'm not super small. I mean, maybe if you're looking at old vlogs, I probably look small. I definitely gained some weight because of coronavirus and I hate this little color. Um, so yeah, I gained 20 pounds over coronavirus and now I'm like, I can't lose it. I like fighting on myself. It feels so weird. My body's never been like this. I'm just like, ew. I'm gonna leave it on just to see if it plumps. I'd have to try another shade already off the bat. Okay, I was gonna say it's sticky, but not really, it's fine. Okay, so let's finish up the face. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. bronzer palettes. I'm mad they took the mirror out, but I mean, do what you gotta do, it's fine, I have them in. I just put them in all the shades, even though some have glitter. I'm getting over it. And I just like to pat on my bronzer nowadays, cause I feel like, once I wipe, especially with a new foundation, I never know what's gonna happen. So, as long as I pat it off, I feel like I'm fine. And I feel like there's never too much bronzer unless you literally, like how the camera looks, like it looks like I just have that in person or like once everything's together, it doesn't really look like that. Like I don't look like that. Honestly, like why does it make me look like that? All right, we'll see what's going on. It's probably the lighting or something. Yeah, I like how the gloss feels and it's definitely starting to kick in with the plumping effect. So let's see how it looks, but I'm definitely taking this off. So forget everything I said. I think you guys know what palette I'm using. But I mean, I'll tell you. 2XL. Your girl was 130 pounds. I don't have anything size 2XL. Yeah, she was bugging out. I don't know what is going on. She definitely messed up with the sizing on these things. It just doesn't seem logical to like make something that small or tight on somebody. Like, girl, the fuck? And then a bandeau, like nobody's trying to squeeze their boobs. And I don't even have boobs. I have a B cup situation here. So I was surprised to say the least. All right, going in with a brush. We're gonna go in with the shade. I love the mirror on this one. And it makes me look like I can actually see like how I look. Do I see that camera is bugged out? I'm not mad at the foundation, but it's kind of like, I just feel like the foundation is um, not the best. It's just like, why would I want to have foundation on if it's going to look like I don't have foundation on and it's like not doing anything to help the no foundation. So like, I'm confused. I'm gonna uh, just, I forgot to do this. I don't usually do this, but since I don't necessarily do my eyebrows all the time, I am gonna start doing this so that you guys can't see my pelitos when I go in for the slayage, you know? I'm trying to serve to you guys. All right, so we're gonna go in with Tati's palette. 
You guys should know all the names by now, so I'm just gonna go in full speed through this part and I'll only show Dang, the bristles on this brush are coming off. Shade thrown. You guys know whose brush this is? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about like, just not a drama, but anybody who's talking to minors, like, feel like it's in the size enough. If you're talking to minors, you got a problem. You got a problem, you lie. Everybody else is saying stuff, people are lying, you're just going to get in trouble. But she said her truth. We stuck to it, and she, in her second video, she made it clear that she didn't think that anything was going to separate from her. She just believed it because she read it, believable, and I'm going to go in with this Kiko Cosmetics brush. I'm going to use one of Tati's glitters, but like, please don't come for me. <laughs> I like, I don't have any quads or anything to try instead. Um, the most I have is like a MAC highlighter and I'm like, mm, not really trying to use that. So we're just going to go in with the gold. And I'm just using, oh God, putting that in the inner corner area, just like, I just dabbed it on, like I need rub. I have this, it says new on it, it's called the Walk the Line Liquid Eyeliner by Hard Candy. So we're going to put it on. I'm going to, I'm, I don't know if I'm doing away yet, let's see how this liner is first. Okay, so I went with a wing. <laughs> that happened. Um, it it's going on fine so far. I wonder how it's gonna dry. Let's keep going. So I'm not putting it all the way in. It's kind of like to like the the center, a little bit more than the center of my eyeball. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Tame and Tame and Define Mega Clear Lash and Brow Mascara. I'm excited about this actually. So instead of my tinted brow from Elf that I usually put on, I'm gonna try this on my brows and on my lashes just to see if they'll like lift them and then I'll put some fake lashes on. Yes. Do you guys see that? I mean, I need a little fill in right there. Maybe I'll put some. I just, I'm just not good at doing my brows. And I feel like once I do my brows, that's when I feel like my makeup doesn't look nice or it like ruined it, made it too like horrible. I do like this for the brow so far. I'm going to try it on my brows. I'm like a little pointed brush from e.l.f. I'm going to go under with Suze. And I might do a pop-up color, let's see. Oh, looking up close, that is a super, super dark brown. Like, you can barely probably tell that it's brown. Maybe you can. I need to stop assuming. But, like, right now, up close, if I was, like, seeing somebody walk around with this, I would have thought it was black. Mm, no, I just got glitter on it. I'm going to take Ritual, which is the dark brown. I'm just going to put it as, like, a liner on this. The outer corner, yeah, it's like that. Anastasia gloss or hmm, matte ink. Hmm, I just feel like the gloss is just like it's just so good, you know. And then I have the ultra satin love. I just don't want it to rub off. I think we'll go with the Maybelline just because I want it to stay on. All day. I'm just gonna fix my lip <laughs> with this wipe. I'll be right back with some lashes. I think I'm gonna wear these and I'm using the AOA adhesive. I will be right back, okay? Well, let's see if these lashes stay up. Um, I didn't end up putting that pair. I put this one. I have no idea what brand this is. It just says Black 614. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there might be Ardell. Um, I don't really buy anybody else's lashes unless they're like 
from China or whatever, like just random ones. Um, I'm gonna put some more bronzer. I forgot about my chin, and like I said before, I gained a lot of weight, so we can't afford a skinless, a bronzerless chin, you know. I'm going in with the Pow Lighter by AOA also. Damn AOA, sponsored? Not sponsored. Let's see. <sighs> Me blowing a brush to make sure that any germs that are on it will fly away just because I redo it. Right, I like to just use whatever's in there with a light fluffy brush. And then pop the highlights. You know. You know how it is. Just at the tippy top. You see that right there? I don't know you see. I don't know you see. I like to bring it to my cheek now, just like this whole area could be glowy, you know? And you're outside, you're like, oh, that vibe. Jennifer Lopez. 50 going on 20, you know? Like, I'm, I'm, I, I praise that one. I use the Wet n Wild Retractable Eyebrow Pencil. Excuse me. Eyebrow Pencil. It does have that square that everybody hates. I'm just gonna fill in that part right there because it looks like. I'm supposed to have an arch there, but there's no hair there, so it's like, girl, what the heck's going on? I'm literally just gonna see how I just filled that in. That's all I'm doing. Like, this one has it, though. I'm gonna do it just so they're the same amount of darkness. I feel like my brows are fine. So, lastly, we are gonna use the Hard Candy Longwear Sheer Envy Setting Spray, Fade Resistant, Fight Humidity, Cucumber Extract, 12 Hour Wear Hydration. Look at that there. We've got Foundation done left. Okay. We got 12 hour plus 12 hour protection. Okay. Revlon has no excuses. The spray over foundation, eyeshadow, blush, concealer to set your makeup. Shake well, close your eyes. Spray two to four times. I've been like into instructions. I smell that cucumber. I love it. Love me a cucumber. All right. Oh, okay. I need to stop. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Maybe give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Or you can contact me directly with my email that I leave in the bio all the time. Um, thank you guys so much for not unsubscribing while I've been gone. I hope you understand and I will be back. Bye. Bye.